Okay. Well, hello, everybody. This is Pastor Gloria, and today's date is March the 31st, 2017, and tomorrow starts a brand new month, and Sherry joined, and I, bless your heart, honey, I got your um, message. Um, how are you doing? I saw where you, you said that you were in the hospital. Bless your heart. I love you dearly. I love you dearly. I'm a little better, sis. Well, we're gonna we're gonna bring we're gonna bring lift you up in prayer. We're gonna lift you up in prayer here here a little bit. She says, "Love you too." Sherry's really sick in the hospital. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Bless her heart. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the Lord's prayer, and then uh, whoever joins to all my replay viewers, uh, I'm gonna lift up. Uh, dear sister and a, a, and also a dear friend up to the Lord in prayer you're welcome sweetheart okay I'm gonna do the Lord's prayer our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, here I am. And Yvette joined. Okay, hello, sweetheart. Um, we are going to lift a dear sister in Christ up in prayer right now. Um... Sherry is is sick in the hospital she's sick in the hospital and I want to lift her up in prayer okay is sister Yvette okay yeah she's 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 been sick I wonder why I hadn't seen her on there oh you're home now well that's praise the Lord that's wonderful that's wonderful okay we're gonna lift you up in prayer honey we're gonna lift you up in prayer okay Okay, I love you. Okay, and you know I'm not that good in prayers, but I do the, I do the best I do the best I can. So, all right, <clears throat> dear precious precious heavenly Father, we bring to you tonight, Lord, Sister Sherry, Sister Sherry. She's been very ill. She she has been in the hospital. She's home now. She's home now, Lord. But we ask you, Lord, to. We bring her before the throne. We ask you to put a mighty touch, put a mighty touch on this dear, dear sister in Christ. Put a mighty touch, put a healing touch, Lord, on her. A healing touch, because you are the mighty physician. You are the mighty physician. You are, you are a healer. You heal. You can heal. You are able, Lord. You are able. And. For this, we ask in your precious, precious holy name, and we give you all the honor and the glory and praise in your precious, precious holy name that you, that she will feel your presence right now, Lord. She will feel your holy presence on her right now, Lord. And whatever sickness is going through her body, that it will be gone in Jesus' precious, precious holy name. Gone in the name of Jesus. And she will be made whole, free from this infirmity, completely free from this infirmity. Amen and amen. Again, we give you all the honor and the glory and the praise in your precious, precious holy name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. The old devil, the devil is attacking so many people. Amen. Thank you all so much. You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. Just feel better. Just just feel better. And you will. You will. Amen. And uh, Jordan Tulsi joined. Well, hello, D Brother Jordan. I'm glad you joined, sweetie. I'm glad you joined. Yes, yes. We just I just raised um, Sister Sherry up uh, to the Lord in prayer. She had been in the hospital, been ill in the hospital. She's home now, but she says she's feeling better. Hey, Pastor Gloria, thanks for tuning in last night. 
that was that was something, wasn't it? That was. Did you ever go back and watch that replay of, of Jordan's honey on there? What? Uh, yes. Oh man, prayers. What? Did you ever go back and watch Jordan's uh, replay last night? Yeah, a little bit. He okay. didn't talk much about speaking. Well, yeah, he he he, he, he gave he gave the scriptures. Amen. God is good. God is good. And I and I did write the scriptures down too. By the way, I, I wrote all the scriptures down. Diversity of gifts, diversity, diversities, and so anyway, um, praise God, hallelujah. Um, God is such an awesome God. He's such an awesome God. Yahweh. And I can't talk like that, honey. Yahweh, Yahweh. I always just say Jesus because I know I can't get Jesus wrong, you know. Because well, Jesus, I, Jesus is the Son. I know. And the Father. Okay. Yahweh equals God. So when we say God, we refer to Yahweh. Okay. okay. Gloria, did you ever see my post about? Yes, I did, and I, I I mentioned that on my scope the other night. I prayed I prayed about all that. I prayed about about the, all the missionaries and uh, the uh, the witnesses, <clears throat> different and different uh, Christians. Yes, I prayed about all that. Yes, and I did I did watch that. Yes, I did. Yes. Jesus is a part of Yahweh. I know she, I know he is. I know. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start my de do my devotions. And as I was saying that prayer for, for, for Sherry, um, I felt the Holy Spirit. I just felt a rushing a rushing of heat. I felt a rushing of heat go up to my through my up to my face, up to my face. A rushing of heat. Wow, it's 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 awesome. It's awesome. Okay, am I doing okay? Am I freezing or lagging or anything? Amen, Yvette says. Am I, am I, is, I better scoot back a little bit. I like, there. No, okay, all right. Okay, let's do, G, I'm gonna do my Jesus always first. I'm gonna do that one first. As you all know, the Spirit of God is at work. Yes, he is, Sherry. Yes, he most assuredly is, yes. And, um, I also want to say a prayer after after what here after a bit too. Don't let me forget about the uh, uh, interstate that collapsed in Atlanta, Georgia, I-85 that, that collapsed. Part part of it collapsed. As of yesterday, they didn't really know what what caused it. They didn't, they didn't know what caused it, and I don't know if they found out now um, or not. I don't know, and. Um, a terrorist attack wasn't ruled out so yeah yeah all right today's March the 31st we're going to read this one first okay it says rejoice that your name is written in heaven rejoice that your name is written in heaven in the book of life because you are mine you have joy that is independent of circumstances you have received eternal life that will never be taken away from you those who are justified through faith in me as their risen Savior are also glorified. Thank you for sharing on Twitter and also inviting followers, Yvette. Wow. There is a, ver a very real sense in which you are already seated with me in the, heavenly, in the heavenly realms. Welcome. Yes, everyone is welcome. Joy is the birthright of all who belong to me. It can coexist with the most difficult heart-rending circumstances yes amen so come to me each morning with open hands and an open heart saying Jesus I receive your joy Jesus I receive your joy then wait with me while the light of my presence shines upon you soaking into the depths of your inner being thus I strengthen you preparing you for the day that stretches out before you as you journey through this day, return to me for fresh joy as often as you need. I am a God of unlimited abundance, so I always have more than enough for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I also, for, yeah, oh, never mind. Okay, the verses to this, Luke 10, 20, Romans 8, 30, and Ephesians 2, 6. That's the verses the verses for this one. That's Luke 10, 20, 
Romans 8.30, and Ephesians 2.6. All right. Now, experiencing God day by day. My other one. Okay. March 31st. Whoops, went too far. March 31st. Praise God, hallelujah. Your Lord. Okay, the title to this one is Your Lord Precedes You. But after I have been resurrected, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Mark 14, 28. And Sherry joined again. She joined again. God never sends you into a situation alone. He always goes before his children, as he did with the children of Israel, when he led them with a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. You do not serve as his advanced troops in a foreign and hostile situation. He always precedes you, you in any situation you encounter. God is never caught by surprise by your experience. He has already been there. Amen. He's already been there. He's prepared to meet every need because he has gone before you and knows exactly what you will need for your pilgrimage. That's in, then that's in reference to Deuteronomy 31, 8. Not only does God go before you, but he also stands beside you and behind you to provide protection and comfort. And that's Psalms 139, verses 7 through 12. Verses 7 through 12. That's Psalms 139, verses 7 through 12. Jesus knew his disciples would be totally bewildered by his crucifixion. So he assured them in advance that no matter what happened, no matter what they, where they went, they could, they could go in confidence that he had already gone before them. Paul, too, experienced this assurance. That's Acts 18, 9, and 23, uh, Chapter 23, verse 11, 9, 11, 18, 9, Acts 18, 9, and 23, 11. In the most bewildering circumstances, his Lord was there, was there. If you are going through a difficult or confusing time, know that your Lord has gone before you and he is present with you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He is fully aware of what you are facing and he and he actively responding to your need. There is nowhere you can go that you will not find Christ waiting for you to join him. Even when you face death, you can be assured that he has gone before you in triumph. As a child of God, rest in the knowledge that your Savior preceded you, and he will walk with you through each experience of your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a good one. That is a good one. All right. Now the last one. Your best you ever. Your best you ever. Okay. I love these. I love these devotionals. Okay. March 31st. Okay, the, the title to this one is Contagious Faith. That's the title to this one. Whatever you do, do your work heartily. As for the Lord rather than for men. For the Lord rather than for men. And that's in reference to Colossians 3.23. Genuine heartfelt Christianity is contagious. If you enjoy a life-altering relationship with God, that relationship will have an impact on others. Perhaps a profound imp impact. Amen. Are you genuinely excited about your faith? And do you make your enthusiasm known to those around you? Or are you a silent ambassador for Christ? God's preference is clear. He intends that you stand before others and proclaim your faith. Yes. Does Christ reign over your life? Then share your testimony and your excitement. The world needs both. Yes. Amen. There seems to be a chilling fear of holy enthusiasm among the people of God. We try to tell how happy we are, but we remain so well controlled that there are, there are a very few waves of glory experienced in our midst. 
There seems to be a chilling fear of holy enthusiasm among the people of God. We try to tell how happy we are, but we remain so well controlled that there are very few waves of glory experienced in our midst. And A.W. Tozer said that. A lesson for the heart and soul. Be enthusiastic about your faith. John Wesley wrote, you don't have to adv advertise a fire. Get on fire for God and the world will come to watch you burn. When you allow yourself to become extremely enthusiastic about your faith, other people will notice and so will God. That's a good one. That is a good one. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Those are some mighty good, mighty good devotionals. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You know, I, I get to thinking during the daytime, you know, of what I'm going to do, you know. And usually whatever message I decide to do, then usually the Lord usually turns it around just like he always did my dad. Always like, like he did my dad. You know, he, he'd have his, his message all prepared and then he would, the Lord would turn it around. And um, I just, I don't know, I feel, I watched one of my... Um, every year, Facebook uh, does um, the, 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 you know, like the repeat of the, of the year before. And um, the Facebook video that I did a year ago today, or where, a year ago, I think two or three days ago, uh, it's been shared a few times on there. That's back when I had my long hair and I had some purple in my hair. And um, it was about um, showing love, more, showing more love, and not so much criticism, you know, um, just to, to let the Lord's, to let His love shine through us, to show others. Well, basically, basically we can't point our fingers at people and say, you're going to hell for this and you're going to hell for that. Because what does that do? That usually chases people far, farther away. We have to get the truth out, but we do it out of love. We do it out of love, you know, and we have to be very careful what we say, how we say it, you know, and I've said this before too, we will be held accountable. When we stand before the Lord, we will be held accountable for everything that we've said, everything that we've done to hurt someone, not whether not meaning to or whatever, you know, and, um, so, but that, that was what I, I wanted, I kind of wanted to touch on that. And um, to call people out for different things, that's not our job to do that either. I mean, again, it goes back to, there's ways of saying things, you know, and we, we just, we all have to stand before God. Sinez 19 joined, well, good evening. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scalp, and, and God bless you. And we can't go wrong by loving people. Just loving people. You know, and j just keep praying that the Lord will draw draw them more in. It, it's kind of hard to explain it, but I think mo I think most of you and, and the replay viewers will know what I'm, what I'm talking about. I mean, because I have got down it, down with it. Yes, I'm glad you're covering, you're covering love. Let's read, let's read scriptures. Yes, I agree. I agree. All right, Yvette, my dear, what would you suggest tonight for us to read? I'm all ears and all eyes, and then whatever the Lord also, whatever whatever else the Lord wants me to read, us to read. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yahweh. 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 I don't know. Hang on a minute. Colossians. No, this is a big mind blow. Wait a minute, dear. The 206. The 
Almost there. Colossians chapter chapter three. Colossians chapter three. Forgot what verse. Start at verse eight. Okay. Chapter three, verse eight. All right, here we go. This is going to be a good one. Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. But now ye also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communications out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that we have put off the old man with his deeds. Amen. It's a good one. And have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Wow. Powerful. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, I can't pronounce that. What does it say? Cynthion, Cynthion, bond nor free, but Christ is, is in all, is all and in all. Cynthian. Cynthian. Bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Yes, Cynthia. Put on, therefore, as the elect, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, also, so also do ye. Yes. And above all these things, put on charity, which is love, which is the bond of per perfectness. David Walters, well, Pastor Dave, well, hello, honey, I mean, uh, Pastor Dave, I'm glad you joined. Yes, hallelujah. I'm reading out of chapter 3 of Colossians. Seek the things which are above. That's at the top, it says at the top of the page. Um, I'm getting ready to read verse 14 again. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of, per of per perfectness. Wow. And charity means love. Love you. I love you too. I love you too. And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the, to the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Wow, I love it. Let me get ready to turn my page. Okay. He, he joined again. I hope I'm not freezing. Okay, it says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Just yes. Verse later. Amen. Yes. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. Yes. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. Yes, thank you. It's I, I got it. I've got another one, and it's to glorify the Lord. Still to glorify the Lord. Thank you very much. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men. Yes. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord, the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect. He is no respect of persons. That's right. Is no respect of persons. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, chapter. I'm gonna go ahead and read chapter four. You know how I do, Yvette. When I get when I get into the Word, I love to read the Word. Chapter 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Okay, all things, and, and Dave, Pastor Dave said, all things are lawful to us who believe. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, walk, in, walk in wisdom, says at the top of the page. <coughs> 
Okay, now what, what did, I forgot, or I forgot what she said. Uh, I forgot, 1 Corinthians 13. Okay, 1 Corinthians 13. I know Corinthians is right here close. I'll be sorted out when I have these all memorized where be, I can go right to them. Hang on just a minute. Chapter of love that love the more excellent way. Yes. Hang on just a minute. Hang on just a minute here. I was pretty close. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter Jordan's got his earbuds in so he, he didn't hear he didn't hear what I said. Yeah, I did. What did she say? 13. Uh, chapter 13. I'm to her scope too. I hope I okay, that's okay, honey. Chapter 13. Yes, chapter 13. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I'm always honored when Pastor Dave, whenever he jumps on, I'm, I'm always honored. Yes. Chapter 13. Okay, here we go. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. When reading that, replace the word love with Christ since God is love. When reading that, replace the word love when Christ since God is love. Yes, root for Jesus, David, Pastor Dave says. Okay, though I speak with the tongues of angels, of men and of angels, and have not love, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. Because charity is love. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and of not love, it, it profiteth me nothing. Christ is patient, Christ is kind, etc. Yes, yes. Love su suffereth long, and is kind. Love envieth not. Love vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own. It is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. Beareth all things, believeth. Turn the page. Oh, I hate that when that does that. Okay. It says, Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. Beareth all things, believe things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Love never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. <laughs> and I've got all those, other, all those other scriptures too. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, when that which is in part shall be done away. Yes, when the Lord comes, then it will be, that will be done away with. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I also I am known. As also I am known. And now abide in faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest of these is, is charity, which is love. Love is the greatest commandment of all. Love is the greatest commandment of all. Wow. My. Ephesians 3, chapter 3, verses 14. Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians 1396. 1396. Ephesians chapter 3. Now I've got Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3, okay, 
Ephesians chapter 3. Any certain verses or just read it or Christ our Christ our cornerstone is at the top of the page. And then at the other on the other page is keep the unity of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3. Okay. For this cause, Cowboy 75 joined. Well, hello, Cowboy 75. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. Okay, 14. We're going to read Ephesians chapter uh, 3, verses 14 through 21. 14, 22, 21. Okay, and I'm so glad you joined, and God bless you. I'm Pastor Gloria. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and his earth named, that he would grant you accordingly to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit and the inner man, and the inner man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints where it is breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all fullness of God hallelujah praise the Lord now to him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and all above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us and to him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ Christ Jesus Throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Yes. My, my, my. Like I said, when I get into the Word, I could just read and read and read and read. When I get into the Word. My. Four. Yvette knew I was going to read. She knew I was going to read four. She knew it. <laughs> I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Yes, one body. Yes. Wherefore, he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led capt captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. <coughs> Verse 9. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he had also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. <coughs> And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the, the body of Christ. Yes, amen, amen. Till we all come into the unity of the faith. Amen, Yvette said yes. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, and to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Yes, they do. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Amen. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body into the edifying of itself in love. In love. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their minds. Oh, Jordan, thank you for the heart. Hearts for Jesus. Hearts for Jesus. Yes, it is. <laughs> Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts or hardness of their hearts. People harden their hearts. 
they harden their hearts. They don't. They people don't want to hear the truth. And sometimes God hardens their hearts until an appointed time. To an appointed time, God hardens hearts. Who, being past feeling, have given themselves over into lasciviousness to work all uncleanliness with greediness. Amen. Just like in these church, some of these churches, all for gain. They preach for gain, for, for the money. They preach for gain. Wow. Okay. But ye have not... See. Over to lasciviousness to work all uncleanliness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. Hearts for Yahweh. Yes. Yeah. Not good, Yvette says. No. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth in, is in Jesus... That ye put off concerning the former conversation of the old of the the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. Yes, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed, that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yes, we do we do away with the old our old selves. We have to deny deny our deny our flesh, deny our flesh, and take take the cross of Jesus. Take on the cross of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Yes, we are. Be ye angry and sin not. And that's hard. That is very hard when we get angry. Because the old, the, the carnal takes over. I have a question. Just for a few seconds, the carnal takes over and... and, and Yes, put on a new personality. Yes, honey, what? What is, where is the borderline between angry and sinning? Well, Jesus got angry. You know that. He turned the tables over. He, he got angry. Yeah. But you're supposed to get angry and sin not. In other words, when you get angry, you're not supposed to say, you dirty, blah, 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 blah. How do we know that's a sin, though? That's but we're not, we're not supposed to be. According to the Bible standards, like what? Well, we're not, we're not supposed to. We're not, we're, we're, we're supposed to try not to, to, to. To say, to say something that wouldn't be pleasing to the Lord, in other words. Well, what's pleasing what's not pleasing? Well, it, According it, to his word. But it, but it is a righteous anger. Yeah, it, it's a righteous anger. It's righteous anger. I mean, Jesus called people... Vipers, vipers, hi hypocrites. He called them curse words in that day. Yeah, he called well, them hypocrites, yeah. blind guides. I mean, if you call someone a blind guy today, if you went out in the street and yelled at someone and said they're a blind guy, I mean, that's kind of... Yeah. I mean, I think a Christian would even look at you and say that you're not. Okay, and then verse 27. Neither give place to the devil. Luke 17, 20 through 37. Okay, let me finish this and then I'll do it. Luke 17. 17 yeah, Luke 17, verses 20 through 37. And let me finish this one and then I'll do that, Sister Sherry. All right. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that st st stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have... To give to him that needeth. Let no corruption communication, corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to, to use the edifying, that it may minister grace unto the, the hearers, or to edify profitably. Yes. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as as for, as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. And then chapter 5, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. I love it. Well, hello, Joycey dear. Your mother just joined, dear. I know. I love you, honey. I'm glad you joined. We're going over now to Luke, uh, what was it? Luke, Luke, Luke chapter... Luke 27, I think. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Matthew, Mark. I'm eating, she says. Yummy, Joyce. Matthew, Mark. I'm in Luke. I think it was 20, verse 27. I thought it was, I thought it was chapter 27. Chap well, yeah. Give me the chapter again, Sherry, honey. You know how my, I, have a short, I have a short memory, dear. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. 
I knew I knew it was Luke. Okay, a person just gets so much going on, you just just can't. Sometimes a person can't think straight, and that's why I I, I prayed to I pray to the Lord sometimes. Lord, please do my thinking for me. Please do my thinking for me, dear Jesus. <laughs> Luke chapter laugh out loud. Yes, she said. I think it was Luke. Was it Luke chapter twenty seven? Luke twenty seven. I don't know the verses. Yeah, I'm waiting for Sherry. To yeah, I'm waiting for Sherry to put the verses back up there because I forgot. Y Yvette, did, did did you see what Sherry put on there, honey? The verses I, I knew it was Luke. 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 Lucas. No, you didn't see it. Okay. I want to say Luke 27 through 37, maybe? I don't think that was it. I don't think so either. Joyce is giving me hearts. Thank you for the hearts, honey. Hearts for Jesus. Hearts for Jesus. Pastor Dave jumped on for a few minutes, dear. Luke 17, chapter 20. Or Luke chapter 17, verses 20 through 37. Luke chapter 17. Let's go to 17. Chapter 17. Luke chapter 17. I'm getting there. I love the words in red. That's Jesus. Okay. Luke chapter 17 verses okay, Luke chapter 17 verses 20. What was it again, Jordan? 20 verse 20 through 37. Verse 20 through 37. I'll get there. 20 through 37. Okay. Verse 20. Verse, yeah, all right, verses 20 through 37. Okay, I'm there. I'm there. All righty. 20? Verse, verse 20, 20 through 37. Okay. Praise the Lord. All righty. Yas. Yasa. And when he was, yes. and he was, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo, here, or lo there, be, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Yes, the kingdom of God is 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 within us. All right, verse twenty-two. And he said unto the disciples, The days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days, to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. Amen. And they shall say to you, See he, see here, or see there. Go not after them, nor follow them, for as the lightning that light lighteth out of the one part under heaven, shineth unto the outer other part under the heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. In his day. But first but first must must he suffer many things and be rejected by of this generation. And as it and as it was in the do, days of Noah, so shall it also be also in the days of the Son of Man. Yes. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Yes. In that day... He which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff, they took no note. Exactly. And his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whoso shall lose his life shall preserve it. And Joyce, the invited followers. Thank you, honey. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken, and the other one shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken, and the other one left. 
Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other one left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will, will the eagles be gathered together. Yes, amen, amen. My... Just so many, so many wonderful, so many wonderful verses. Like I said, I get in the Bible and I could just read and read. Yes, not everybody going up. Wow, wow, wow. Wait, I wonder what that's for French. Love that. Yes, Sherry said. Yes. Yeah, we can see when Lot's wife, when Lot's wife turned back, she she was turned turned to a pillar of salt, or a pillar of what what pillar of stone? Some are meant to be here on earth. He was, yeah. What, is that? what does that mean? That... When Lot, like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I thought. Yeah, because Lot's wife, took, that's about the rapture. Okay, yeah. My. That's something. I felt, I, I felt the Holy Spirit. I felt the Holy Spirit on me. My, 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 my. I felt the Holy Spirit. It just went whoosh, all over me. Like in the days of Noah were, so shall it also be it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Not as a punishment, the earth will be inhabited. Wow. Verse 29. But the same but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day he, he which shall be up on the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. Then on down, thir remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. My, 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 my. I love, I love, I love getting read. I, I, maybe I don't know it's because when it when it's Jesus's words that I read it, it just wow. You want to do an act study? Maybe. First, there are there are prophecies concerning the meek will inherit the earth. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the prophecies are coming true. I like this from verse twenty-five too. It says, "But first must, but first must he suffer many things and be rejected of of this generation." Now, I love I love reading I love reading that I love reading it my 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 any other any other verses I want to do an act study we will but you you but you and I get tend to what does that have to get do with in acts well acts is a transitional Cleo Cleotastic join well good evening I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope, and God bless you. Joyce says, "Laugh out loud." She hears you in the background. <laughs> I'm going to read Acts. This boy has had me laughing. He's just like my, my daughter, just like she used to be. I know we're in the serious thing, but like she was when she when she was a lot younger, she would just have me absolutely dying laughing. And the more, the more I'd laugh. The, the, it, it would use, use it make her mad because because she think I was making fun of her, but I wasn't. But she just made me made me laugh. I want to read that. That's the way Jordan is. Many believe there are only two places people will be either heaven or hell. Hell is a temporary place until Revelation, uh, until the end of Revelation, will be thrown into the lake of fire. I think I think hell is a temporary. Well, and all, place. like I said too, the Lord didn't put everything in the Bible. God has real plans for the earth. Yes. God put yes, in everything is. in the Bible that's important. Yes, but there are still mysteries. There are still mysteries that he didn't put in the Bible. Yeah. There are many mysteries that we don't, hell is a temporary place. There's still mysteries that we don't understand, and we won't. I've said this before. That we won't until he wants us to know, and, until we take on the incorruption. Yeah. Amen. It will be thrown into the, it will be thrown into the lake of fire. Remember the, remember the beginning. Yeah, he, he determines the end from the beginning. Yes, it's in the Bible. Yes, yes. Just so much that we we need to we need to eat eat of this word. And I am speaking to Pastor Gloria too. To me, we should eat of this word. There will be a millennial will be a millennial kingdom kingdoms. 
See, some, some of this is all new to me. I admit it. Some of this is new to me. I remember being, it was just, the Bible was read. The Bible was explained way back years and years ago. You know, I mean, and why he created the earth, he has, he has not finished his work. Jesus, Jesus says his kingdom cannot be observed. Like I said, we all have to, be, we all have to be open to learn, and I'm here to learn too, just like everybody else. I'm here to learn too, and it's within us. Yes, yes, it is. It is, it is within us. His kingdom is with the, within us, in, in the body of Christ. In the body of Christ. His kingdom is within us. I will have to scope about it. Yes, Yvette. Yes, honey. Yes. But, as some of you know, even the, re the replay viewers, some of you know, that a lot of this stuff was never talked about. It wasn't known or something all them years ago. You know, a lot of this stuff is new to us you know is new to us you know we they, they preached right from the bible and you know if you either you either listen to it or, or or you reject it you know and and you reject jesus then we all know where where we go when we re, we reject jesus you know i mean just like again, like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, they didn't listen, so they all they all perished. And we also, and God will that no man perish. I mean, no man perish. The churches don't talk about God's plans for the earth. Yeah, the church doesn't talk about a lot of things. Yvette, isn't that right? Till till it for C for C T. John, well, good evening. That's that's a new one. God bless you. I'm I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. I'm just simple Gloria. Just a woman that loves the Lord, that loves the Lord. The Lord that He called me three, a little over three years ago, to preach His Word. He, he gave, He handed down my dad's mantle to me, and I'm, I feel very honored and privileged. Very honored and privileged. Hello, hello. God bless you. God bless you. We just been reading. We've been in, reading into Luke, and um, like, like I've told everybody, I'm still learning myself. I'm still learning. You know, I mean, I'm from the old school. I'm from old school. You know, back when, when the preachers really preached, they really preached it, you know. I mean, and there's so many new things that's come up nowadays that I had never even, like the pre-trib rapture, the post-trib rapture, the millennium trap rapture, all that. I never, people never talk about any of that. People have, people have to rightly divide the word. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And and all of that I I had never heard of any of that till till a few years ago, when Adam and Eve sinned, God original plans were put on pause because of sin. Yes, that we know, because he he created every he created per, per, perfect. It was perfect. Old man, 1965, joined. Well, good evening. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope, and God bless you. God bless you. I I hope that that, and you can and you can all go back and watch the replay. Like I said, I'm learning too. I'm learning too. I'm open. I'm open in spirit and in truth. More des we, we, that's when we need to pray for more discernment. Don't you think God knew man would 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 would? Some, you bet. Yeah, and God had the plan set in motion before the foundation of the world. Yes, sin, not son. I know. Share us. That's right. Through Jesus, He will restore the earth to His original purpose. Yep. That's, that we do know because when he first made, made made it, he made it. He made everything perfect, Adam and Eve, and then of course Eve tempted Adam, and then here we go on down the line. And then us women had had to bear bear children. Men had to work by the sweat of their brow as their punishment for what Adam did. Many do not know that. Yeah, he already he knew already what was, all was going to take place. Yes, yes, he did. Yes. And we all, that's why, and also he's given us free will. He's given us free will. And, and so if we, we choose to either follow, follow Jesus or follow the devil. God knew man would sin. There was no other plan, Yvette. Which is, which is awesome, Joyce, he says. Yeah, sin, Sherry says, yes. The earth will be a paradise, paradise home. 
when the new when the new heavens and earth yeah it's it talks about all of it in the bible you know and it's like i said earlier you know we, we have to pray for more discernment in spirit and in truth in spirit and the tr in truth it's in it's in scripture wow 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 I mean, how long have i been on here it's 10 minutes till 10. Yes, with the kingdom of heaven, and we will be going in and out of it, worshiping the Lord. Kingdom of heaven, and we will be going in and out of it, worshiping the Lord. As long as we're worshiping the Lord and we're going to be with Jesus, I don't care. <laughs> Seriously. As long as we're with with Jesus, I don't care where we are, as long as we're, we're with Jesus. How do you call? He wants to meet, he can't wait to meet Paul. Paul is his idol. Paul is his idol. He, he loves He loves Paul. I want to meet all the, all the uh, the apostles and Moses and just thank you guys. We're gonna meet. We're gonna meet all them. My Moses, can wait. Moses. Oh my. I'm gonna meet Paul. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Can we slap Eve? Just kidding. Oh my. Can we slap Eve? But yeah, I mean, we get to meet get to meet them all. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. My my my. I can't wait. And our family that's going to be there. Thanks, Eve. Yeah, she tempted Adam. It was us, us women, dear, that did it. We did it. And we are descendants of Adam and Eve, so. But, yeah, us women. Women, women are gullible. But, but also, but we, we were created from Adam's rib. We were created by, from Adam's rib. So, I mean, as a, as a helpmate. As a mate for the male. Not to dominate us. No, not to dominate. And the man blinding followed along with her. Yes. Yeah, but he created us women because he didn't want a man to be lonely. Her and Adam were perfect. Yes, they were perfect. They were perfect until Satan tempted Eve. Satan tempted Eve. And Eve gave in. Evangelist Tamara joined. Well, good evening, Evangelist. I know you were on uh, my son-in-law's scope uh, last night. God bless you. Welcome to my scope. And in case you guys, well, you pro some of you people already know, this is a man's cross. But I bought this for a reason. Yes, he said it wasn't good for a man to be alone. Yeah. They will not, and they will not come back. Who? And he, she said, bless you. Who won't come back? Yeah, who won't come back? If they were perfect, they wouldn't have sinned. Well, the, other devil, the, devil, the devil tempted, the devil tempted uh, Eve, Adam and Eve. I love this. I love this. We're just ha having a conversation. And what do you mean that Adam and Eve won't come back? No, she said they won't. I don't know. Jesus was perfect. Yes, he was. Well, we're asking Yvette uh, who she's talking about that they won't come back. She said Adam and Eve. He was also tempted. Yeah. Who, who was tempted, Sherry, honey? Jesus. Jesus was tempted. Oh, yeah, I know. I know he was tempted. Forty days and forty nights he was tempted. Yes, he was. And... He, he did, but he didn't give in. He didn't give in to, to the devil. He didn't give in to him. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. He didn't. He didn't give in to him. Praise God, Hallelujah. I'm gonna read Psalms 91 here pretty soon. Can you read Acts? I'd rather not tonight. Why not? Cause I don't want to make this scope too late, too long. Acts chapter one. We are not perfect. They were not. We are not perfect. They were not another chance. They were not another chance for them. What? I don't. I don't know. So if Adam and Eve were perfect, they couldn't have been tempted. Oh, I know what you mean, Sherry. When he first created them, they were perfect. But the devil they, tempted Eve. They were Eve. perfect until they sinned. They were they perfect until they sinned, yeah. because Adam or because the devil tempted Eve, and she listened to what Eve or what the devil told her about eating of eating of the fruit which she wasn't supposed to eat. They were perfect, no chance to come back. Does that mean that we can't be saved either because we're not perfect? Nobody's perfect on this earth. Does no, that, no, Nobody is. No. Does that mean that we can't be saved? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we better hope that we get that we're right. We better hope we, better I, hope I, we I, are. I mean, I believe that and Eve were right. When I, God created... I believe they were forgiven. When God, yes, when he created Adam and Eve, they were perfect. We are given chances because we are imperfect. But if they were perfect, they wouldn't have been tempted like like Jesus. Well, after... But the devil appeared to Eve in the garden. 
the devil appeared to her and told her that it was okay to eat of the fruit that she wasn't that they weren't supposed to eat of. Old Ballet 30, 34 Jerome, well, good evening. Good evening. God bless you. I'm Pastor Gloria. Not true. Evangelist Tamara joined again. What's we're, not true? I don't know. We're, ha we're having a discussion. We're having a discussion. The devil tempted Jesus. Yes, he did. Yeah, but Jesus, he did. But Jesus didn't listen to the devil, though. He didn't listen. Yes, and he didn't, and he didn't give in. Exactly, exactly. He didn't. He didn't give in. He was tempted forty days and forty nights, but he he didn't give in. Adam and Eve were perfect. Keyword. They were, were perfect. perfect. They were perfect until the devil tempted Eve, and then Eve ate of the fruit she wasn't supposed to eat of, and then he she she told Adam it was okay because he was the only perfect one. Exactly. Eve was deceived. Yes, she was deceived. The devil deceived her. Yeah. The devil deceived her, and then she ate of the fruit. She told Adam it was okay to eat of the fruit, so... They were perfect until sin. And then after that, when the sin came in, then they noticed that they were eating. God showed them their nakedness. He showed them their nakedness, and so they were covered with fig leaves. Because they, he showed them their, their nakedness. So, you want to fill in for a few minutes, because I've got to run in there. Where does it say they were perfect? You want to fill in for me for a few minutes, honey, please? Well, that's just common sense. They didn't well, sin, fill in for Grandma because I have to go to the little girl's room, honey. They were perfect until they Adam sin. and Eve were birth perfect, otherwise God would be lying. Yeah, because yeah, when they, they were created, he made the man, he made Adam, and then he, he, want, he didn't want the man to be lonely, so he created Eve, he took Eve from Adam's rib, from Adam's rib. Because, you know, as a helpmate, a, as a partner, how would God be lying? No, God doesn't lie. No, God can't lie. She's talking about. She's talking to Yvette at the moment. Oh, okay. They're yes, they were. Discussion. Yes, they were created perfect. Can you guys interact? If you want to step over here for a minute, you can, honey. I don't care. Okay. Grandma's got to go see the little girl's room. I'll be back.
Okay. Oh, I gotta turn this heater off. I'm about to suffocate. Oh my. It's kind of warm out here. All right. I'm back. Yes, Jesus was perfect like Adam, and however, he used his free will to choose God. Yes, I need to take a drink of my coffee. <laughs> Good thing it's decaffeinated. Even when the, even the angels weren't perfect, they were tempted and sin. The only perfect one was Jesus. Yeah, because the third of the angels, he cast the third of the angels down to earth with, with the devil because uh, God found iniquity in him. In, in, cause, and Lucifer wanted it all. He wanted to be higher than the Lord, higher than God. So, take a drink of my coffee here real quick. All right. <coughs> I don't know how long we've been on here. I don't know. And then Lucifer. Ten o'clock. The angels, the angels all were perfect. Not all fell. No, not all of them. Just a third, a third of them fell. Yeah, he ca he cast them out along with Lucifer. I believe the angels are perfect, but when they chose to not, they ch they chose to follow to Lucifer. To not, if, when it has they chose to, do with the to choice. not be with God, that's when they lost their perfectness. Yeah, because they they wanted to. They, and I believe the same thing with Adam and Eve. Is when they when they sinned, they lost their they lost the. Yeah, they they know when they when they sinned, then then God showed them their nakedness. Choices, choices, choices. Yes, yes, yes. So. There's only one verse about Lucifer. It doesn't say Lucifer was the devil. No, Lucifer was the... He was one of the highest angels at one time. Yes. He was one of the highest angels at one time. But then, like I said, he wanted to be higher than God. He wanted... He wanted it all. Wait, she's saying that Lucifer... There's only one verse about Lucifer in the Bible. And then... Yeah, and... She's and then, saying that... Uh, I guess she's saying that Satan is... Kept freezing on me. Oh my! Is it okay now, sweetheart? I guess she's saying that Satan is Lucifer. I guess. L Lucifer. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, um, he he he, did, he he wanted to be he wanted to be high higher than God, and God cast him out of heaven along with a third of his angels, cast him down to earth. Well, he lost the name Lucifer. And he lost the name of Lucifer, yes. Lucifer. And that, that's when the name Satan Satan came it in. It means deceiver in Hebrew. Deceiver. Yes, it means the deceiver in, in Hebrew. Satan. Satan, yeah. I don't even, even don't even like like the name like the name. <laughs> it just means deceiver. I know. I know. He's in, also the in, father of in ancient Hebrew, if you wouldn't say The Father deceiver. of Darkness and the Father the Father The Father of Darkness and the It means nothing start it means it means morning, no, star. It means yeah. morning star and off. light bearer. Yeah, in Hebrew. Yeah. So yeah, Lucifer is a beautiful name. Lucifer was a beautiful name, and, and like I said, he was one of the highest angels. Yeah, Lucifer. He was one of the highest angels. Yes, yes. Well, I'm glad we're doing this tonight. Yay! I, mean, Lucifer I love. Was a beautiful I love doing. You know. See, a person. God a, took his name. Yeah, a person can talk. You know, he and, and talk about things. Lucifer. Yeah. A person can talk about things and, and his name is literally the deceiver Hebrew. That's yeah, his name. I know. You know, I'm in. So you know, but like I said, I didn't want to keep this too. The Bible doesn't say any of that. Well, many people cannot understand why God created a perfect being, and they and they fall. I know. I know. I know. But anyway, I think I've been on here quite a while. I don't want to be make make this too long. What happened? Keeps keeps freezing. It's okay on my end, honey. Uggy, I guess it's freezing on her end. It's freezing on her end. It's freezing. I don't know if if yes, the Wi-Fi. Oh, okay, okay. Sin entered in. Yes, y yes, Evangelist. Go ahead, Tamara. Give. Yeah, it means light bearer. It all has to do with obedience to God. Yes. 
Yes, he, he, he's, he, he's, the, he's the father of darkness. The, 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 he's the deceiver. And, and also, he can, he can be the, uh, like an angel of light. This ferment the king of, of Babylon. Babylon. This ferment the king of Babylon. What do you mean by that? I don't, I don't know. It's, I'm not sure how to answer. If anybody wants to answer, they can, because I'm, I'm not sure how to, and not sure how to answer that. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. In the Hebrew, describing the king of Babylon, the king of Babylon. Hello, something like that. What about Baal? Baal. Baal. Baal was the. What do you mean? He represented the devil, didn't it? Yeah. No. Baal. Babel. Baal Baal was a. It can be perfect. Oh, I, I missed that comment. I'm sorry, I missed it. It was a. It was a. It was a god. I think the Canaanites. Were I forgot exactly, but the word. I think. I think it's in Hebrew. Baal. Periscope seems to be having trouble. Many people are saying that the feed is lagging the past few days. Yeah, that's what Joyce says. Look at Blue Letter Bible. Lucifer was the king of Babylon, not Satan. But Lucifer and Satan is is all one. It's the same person. Lucifer, because he changed his name from Lucifer to Satan when he cast him out of heaven. Cher said that's not true. Yes, they are. Lucifer said, or Lucifer. Yvette says, I know Hebrew well, Sherry says. She knows Hebrew well. Biblical Hebrew? Biblical Hebrew, yeah. She says she knows it well. Well, there's two Hebrews. There's modern Hebrew and biblical Hebrew. Biblical or, or modern? I mean, biblical is what the Bible is written in. Well, yeah. The but but yeah, the, yeah, biblical would be what the it's Bible is written in. Part of Daniel is written in Aramaic. I mean, you know, we we got we got to know all this right. She says, "Yes, studied for years, biblical." Okay, biblical. Yeah, yeah. And the New Testament was written. We got to get this. Yeah, we got to we got to get things right. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. The word Lucifer is only mentioned once in the Bible. Mm -hmm. It's in Isaiah. Yeah, because that that's what his that's what the Lord that's what his name was when when he was when he was the angel when he was one of the highest angels he was, he was called Lucifer because the Lord the Lord gave. He, he, he had great pride in, in Lucifer. And then, like I said, Lucifer dis, Lucifer wanted it all. Even Hebrew has been corrupted, depending on which you are using. What? I'm you, sorry. He, biblical Hebrew is an ancient language, and it is not a corrupted language. It's the, the, it's the language that No, it was God the king of chose. Babylon. Look at, look at the Hebrew. Not bi biblical Hebrew is very biblical. That was what God chose for the language of the Old Testament. It's biblical. It's what God chose. And Koine Greek is in the is the New Testament. Other, other ones, Jordan. She, she's the other ones, Jordan. What is that supposed? You're to mean? not. I guess she means you're knowledgeable about. Joyce joined again. But this is getting very interesting, Joyce. But there's dear. other versions of biblical Hebrew. She, uh, other versions. There's only one biblical Hebrew. He said there's only one biblical Hebrew. I'm learning it's too. A, it's a language. It's, it was an ancient language, mm -hmm. and that's what God chose to be the language of the Old Testament. Yes, he bet says. And I mean, if we're going to use the English translation, we should really question the English translation because the English translation and a lot of people is uh, very inaccurate. And a lot of people are saying that, that the King James version isn't even the, the true version. Of it either. I mean, but. Well, yeah, because you, you take it. We, 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 we were taught to, to go by the. Yeah, I follow he, Hebrew for Christians on Facebook. Because you take an ancient language. Yes, Jordan, Sherry said. Yes, Jordan. A very Jordan. ancient language, and then you translate that. King James that, isn't. And then you translate that into a modern language like English. Even in archaic English, modern early English, it's very inaccurate. And Many scholars change some wordings. Yeah. When it's in English, when you get the pure ancient biblical Hebrew. I mean, that's the purest form you can get. Yeah. Once you go yeah. from and meanings. Translation. Bless your heart, Sherry. Bless your heart. <laughs> translations ruin everything. Because yeah. translations have stopped people from going out and learning Koine Greek and learning Biblical Hebrew. Yes, agree with you, Sherry, or Yvette says, yes. And even yes. a little bit of Ar Aramaic. Yeah. And I think 
Amen. Well, what do you say? What do you say? We we uh, we pray for Ar Aramic, Aramic, Aramaic. A Ar I never can. I can't say all that stuff. A it's Ar it's it's used like I think a Daniel. Yeah. Part Daniel. Well, we could go ahead and say a prayer for um, the uh, Atlanta uh, uh, interstate that collapsed. Yeah, you want to use Hebrew for the Old Testament and Greek for the New Testament. Yeah, ancient Hebrew and Koine Greek. Okay, let's 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 uh, pray for uh, the interstate. We, we I don't know if they ever found out because you know the people were living under that bridge in Atlanta. People were living under that bridge also that collapsed, and we need we need to to, to pray. We need well lift to lift. We, let's. Bow our heads and let's let's lift them the people up in it. Yes, it is, Sherry. It is. It was terrible. Yes, let's pray. You get so much more out of the Bible when you study the ancient language. Yes. When did this happen, Gloria? It happened yesterday. Uh, Jackie Jackie uh, shared it on uh, Facebook and everything. Yes. And uh, everybody was it was it was I eighty five going through Atlanta, Georgia. Be right back, Joyce said. Okay, honey. Yeah, it, it was on I-85. That, that was one of the major things. And like I said, there's there was people living under that bridge. A lot of people living under it. We don't know how many how many cars were were smashed underneath. The modernized Bibles don't even translate the Bible. They paraphrase the concepts. Yeah, there's been yeah. a lot of things changed I through mean, the years. A lot the, of things changed. The closest, I think, the closest True. translation you can get yes, to the sure Bible. Says. I mean, a lot of people say they complete Jewish Bible, and like some say the King James. And there's even some people who say that the King James has no errors, which I don't, that doesn't make any sense because you get an ancient language and a modern language, there's going to be mistranslations. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Our, our just. It's sad. It's very, very sad because you know, the, you know, it said it says in the word too that many will be deceived. It said even the very elect will be deceived in the in the last days. You know, I mean, that could be that could have many different meanings to that to be of being deceived. You know, we have to just make sure that that we walk right with the Lord and the sep. Read that. Is the oldest Greek translation of the Hebrew. Septuagint. Yeah, Septuagint. All these big fancy words. Sep, Septuagint. I can't even talk tonight. Septuagint. Yeah. Wow. Sherry's pretty. She's she's pretty knowledgeable. She's pretty knowledgeable. Yeah, I want I want to learn biblical Hebrew and. Plenty. The KJV is not perfect. Has errors. So do many translations. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. English, you know, it's just simple. Even if you have the best scholar in the world, I mean, there's just differences yes, yes, between yeah. English and ancient Hebrew and, and ancient Greek. Tickling of the ears is why they paraphrase, leaving out much of what God has has for us. That's true. The tickling of the ears, yes. But what people want to hear. Sorry for the spell check errors. Well, oh, that's okay. Well, the reason the, that there's dang there's autocorrect. There's the reason yes, there's I know, there's, Sherry. I know it. The reason that. <laughs> Paraphrase Bibles. Yes. Miss a lot of the. I mean, I'd go for a word for word translation, which the King James is a word for word translation, mostly. And then there's like. Uh, like NLT is like a, a, a mix between word for word and paraphrase, and some people say that's a good translation. Um, complete Jewish Bible claims to be like from the Hebrew. I don't know, but the paraphrase is just to make it easier to understand for people instead of having a word for word. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd go for a word for word. Okay, well let's let's lift up um, Atlanta, Georgia, and, and that horrific thing that happened about the bridge. Dear Jesus, we come before you right now before your throne, Lord. We just have we ask you, Lord, to. Um, have your have your hand, Lord, on on the people in in Atlanta, and if people also if people perished that day, Lord, yesterday, if people perished, 
we hope that, that they were right with you, Jesus. And we pray also that there there wasn't very many fatalities, hopefully, hopefully not. These things are going to happen, Lord, because it's, it's in your word. It's in your word, Lord. That these things, all these Bible prophecies, are, are, are they're all coming true, Jesus. They're all coming true. So much evil. So much evil and destruction. Chaos. Just, it's in your word, Lord. So again, we, we just, just ask you, Lord, that, that they will find out if it was a terrorist attack or whatever it was, Lord. And just give, give the families of, of the ones that, that were lost, give the families peace, Lord, that surpasseth all understanding. And pray that that brings more people closer and closer to you, Lord. Because tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised to no one. Tomorrow is not promised to no one. So for this, we, we give you all the honor and the glory and the praise in your precious, precious holy name. And our condolences... Our condolences go out to the families of the, the ones that were lost. Our condolences go, go out. So for this, we ask in your precious holy name, and we give you all the honor and the glory in your precious holy name, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And I want to do one more thing. I want to read Psalms 91. That's something new I've just been starting to do. Psalms 91. Where's my Bible? Where? Where? My Bible, honey. Psalms. Turn it to Psalms 91, honey. That's something new I just started doing. Psalms 91. I turned right to it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Psalms 91. Okay, I've been on here an hour and 22 minutes. Oh, my heavens. Psalms 91. And then we're going to close it out. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I had a great time talking with you all. Yes, that was a very, very... I, I loved it. I loved it, Sherry. And I'm, you will be back 100%, huh, sweet, see, sweetheart? And Pastor Dave, yes. Hello, Pastor Dave. God bless you. I'm reading Psalms. I'm going to read Psalms 21. Then I'm going to close it out. 91. Thank you. Yeah, Psalms 91. And Sherry, blessings to you, honey. Get well. You also, God bless you. Yes, God bless you all. Let's, let's do Psalms 91, and Gloria's going to... Gloria's going to close it out. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee, it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample, trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay. I love you all. God bless you. I'm glad you all joined in. All, to all the replay viewers, God bless you all. I hope that you learned something. I did, I think. And... May he richly, richly bless you. 
We need to pray for more discernment. More discernment. Pray for more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yes. More wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And discernment. Discernment. Love you, Gloria. I love you too, Yvette. Sherry, I love you, honey. And to, again, to all the replay viewers, God bless you one and all. I will be back on here tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I will, be bid, I will bid you all good night. And remember, we know not when. We know not the day or the hour. We must be ready. We must put on the whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, and the helmet of salvation to be, cut, to be able to overcome the wiles of the devil because he seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. And Jordan and Joyce, Sherry says, good night. All righty. I love you. Okay, love you all. Okay, good night. Good night.